Hi guys, February is shoot 'em up month on my channel. All month I'm going to be playing various shoot 'em ups on the PS Vita and featuring them. And at the end of the month, I'm going to have a top 10, do a top 10 of all my favorite shooters on the PS Vita. So today I'm playing Resogun on the PS Vita. Uh, now, this was originally a PS4 game, uh, PS4 launch game actually, by Housemark, who have made a lot of great shooters, uh, and then it was eventually ported to the Vita. Now, I gotta admit, I loved this game on the PS4, um, and so I was kind of disappointed with it on the Vita. Um, it just, the graphics and the sort of frame rate, it's noticeably worse than the PS4. Now, I haven't played it for a while, I haven't played the PS4 version for a while, to be honest, and playing it now, sort of, quite uh, with quite fresh eyes, actually, it's not too bad. <laughs> I remember at the time, I was thinking, ah, oh, this is, it felt like kind of a, almost like they shouldn't have made it, because it was just not as good as the PS4 version, so I was kind of disappointed, but actually, you know, I think, uh, I think it does hold up a lot better than uh, than I expected, so, which is, which is good. Uh, you know, I wasn't, uh, I was kind of actually thinking when I started this video, before I started this video, that I would end up sort of uh, complaining a lot about the game. But uh, no, I'm, I'm so far very impressed actually, just sort of replaying. I had a couple of goes before uh, playing this video. Um, and so yeah, no, it's, it, it plays really well. Um, I must have some, it must be, a, yeah. So one of the things, sorry guys, I'm like talking to myself, even though I'm on, uh, even though I'm recording what I'm saying. Um, so let me explain a little bit about how you play this game. So it's a twin stick shooter. So you use the, uh, the left analog stick to move up and down and use the right analog stick to shoot. You only shoot left and right. So it's a little bit different from, uh, from other sort of shooters. And you had this sort of circular arena and you need to save these humans. See, in these like a uh, green kind of these little green green men in these cages, you need to save those guys. They, as you kill enemies, like you can see now, these kind of glowing enemies. As I kill those enemies, I unlock uh, a, a human. And so, what I need to do is go and well, if I didn't die, I would have to go grab that human and then throw them into the kind of green teleporters you see. So what I'm doing is grabbing that human, and I can boost over here and throw the human into the teleporter. Uh, it's actually quite a satisfying mechanic to just sort of chuck a human uh, into that uh, into that uh, into the uh, teleporter thing. Uh, you've also you've got a boost as well, so you destroy any enemies that are in your way when you boost, uh, and you've also got kind of a power sort of power beam. And actually, yeah, the, the graphics are noticeably worse than uh, than the PS4 version. Uh, I mean, you know, obviously you expect that. It's it's not going to be the same, but um, you know, especially when I did that power up just there, it was it was definitely a lot worse. Uh, let me show you guys. So actually, that's this is just the first uh, the first area. Let me show you guys maybe another one of the areas as well. This is a really tough game. Even on the PS4, I was not able to beat it. Um, Admittedly, I probably didn't play it enough. There were so many games on the PS4 at the time that, uh, that I didn't kind of put loads of time into this, but it's just a really fun game. It's also got on the Vita online co-op. Now, I did try and uh, enter a match just before recording this video, and there was no one there, unsurprisingly, but it's very cool that, it, uh, that I do have um, online co-op on this game. So maybe something uh, to feature when I do uh, a, a Vita stream. So I didn't play this game for too long, uh, the Vita version. Like I said, when I did originally get it, I was kind of disappointed in it just because it wasn't on the level of the uh, of the PS4 version. But um, it may be something actually to, to give it a try again. I think it's not as bad as, as I remember, at least. So um, yeah, I think I think I should uh, should be a bit more open-minded and give this game another shot. So there we go, got another human. Now I just need to get him to yep there we go he's in the teleporter oh did i miss those guys freeing one of the humans yep you got weapon upgrades here as well which uh, there are not many of those uh you don't i don't seem to come across too many so okay there we go got another human let's get him out of there And you can just kind of fly through the uh, the green teleporter 
to get rid of the human or you can uh, sort of chuck them which which I really I do enjoy just kind of throwing the human into it okay that's another one and I'm gonna throw him there we go perfect oh that was silly I just ran straight into the uh, bad guys okay so it looks like there's a there's a human around somewhere Oh no, I lost, must have lost one. You can see, guys, on the uh, top of the screen uh, where there are the humans who you got left alive and if you lose any of them. So you can see that uh, I did lose someone there. And the fact that one of them is flashing right now means that they are free somewhere. Uh, just going to find where they are. Where is he? Okay, he's dead. All right, I missed him somewhere. <laughs> so you can only shoot in horizontal lines, basically, um, which it, it is a really unique, a unique shooter. Like other Housemark games, you've got an online leaderboard, of course, uh, which links to uh, PSN, so you can try and compete with your uh, PSN friends. So, how am I... I'm definitely, yeah, I'm definitely finding this challenging. I need to, need to practice more. I was a lot better on the PS4 version. Oh, wow, okay. I'm doing really badly. But you know what, guys? I take back my, my thoughts on this game, my negativity on this game. Uh, it's actually, it, it does play well on the Vita. It's... 100% not on the level of the PS4 version. Uh, it is noticeably worse, but actually it's pretty good still. It's uh, it's not bad at all. It's uh, it's fun to play, you know, even if the frame rate and graphics are not on the same level as PS4, it's actually still a really fun game to play. So I take back all the sort of negative thoughts I had in this game back from when I first uh, first played the Vita version and thought, oh, this isn't like the PS4. Um, I, I think this is a good game, actually. So I'm going to keep playing anyway and uh, see how it stacks up in terms of my top 10 shooters. Um, but I do recommend it. I think it's uh, I think it's really good, actually. Um, let me know, guys, in the comments. You know, I think a lot of people enjoyed this, uh, enjoyed this game on the Vita. I know I was one of the few people, I believe, who, who didn't. Or who uh, kind of had negative things to say about it. Um, so I think uh, a lot of people enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments. Did you enjoy? Uh, did you enjoy? I was going to say Stardust. Did you enjoy Resogun on the PS Vita? Leave a comment below. And as always.